There are now more than 2,000 soldiers in Boston. That's one soldier for every six people who live in the city. Finally, on a cold night in March, tempers flare and explode. It's a cold, dark, snowy night. One soldier is guarding the Custom House. That's the British tax quarters, and a lot of young men, many of them friends of yours, start teasing the guard. Finally, he pokes some of the boys with his musket. The boys start shouting, and more people arrive. They begin throwing snowballs and chunks of ice at the soldiers. They even pick up rocks and put them inside the snowballs that they are throwing. More and more colonists keep arriving. They're carrying sticks and rocks and more. They start shouting at the guard, go ahead, shoot. They are actually daring the soldiers to make more trouble. Now more soldiers arrive with their captain, Thomas Preston. The captain tries to settle things down, but the crowd is getting out of hand. Bells start ringing, even more colonists arrive. People start shoving and pushing. They keep yelling, shoot, go ahead and shoot, you bloody lobster back. Suddenly, one of the soldiers is pushed and falls. His gun goes off. The crowd screams. In all the confusion, the soldiers start to fire their guns. Captain Preston hollers for his men to stop firing. He grabs their muskets to make them stop, but it's too late. Three colonists are dead, and two more lie on the snowy ground dying. You are horrified, and you can't believe the soldiers killed five innocent citizens.